Hi guys. I just wanted to come to you to talk to you about the Supreme Court ruling that came down yesterday, I think, yesterday, <coughs> regarding LGBTQ rights and what it means for housing or what it could uh, kind of potentially mean for housing. What it means right now is it means that LGBTQ rights are protected as far as hiring and jobs. And that's nationally now. It, it goes to the 1964 uh, Civil Rights Amendment and it includes LGBTQ uh, citizens within that decision. And that's huge because that means that they are protected within those same civil rights uh, as anybody else is. And, and to be a protected class within that decision gives uh, people a lot of different rights um, and protects them in a lot of different ways that are very significant throughout the entire country um, that, that don't exist in any other way. Um, right uh, before that, prior to that, um, there were 29 states that did not offer protections for LGBTQ citizens. Um, I'm going to put a link below this that shows you exactly where they were. Uh, basically, in our country, the states on the that bracket the country, the coastal states, the West Coast and the East Coast tend to be the most liberal, tend to have the most protections for people who tend to be on, on the outside fringes of society. And that is how this breaks down, with the exceptions of four states in the middle of the country, in the north part of the middle of the country, and those are Minnesota, Iowa, Illinois and Wisconsin. <coughs> Other than that, the Northeast, Mid-Atlantic, West Coast, Utah, Colorado, and New Mexico are the ones that had protections. Or some. Wisconsin and Utah did not fully protect, but the other states did. Um, prior to this land... Uh, landmark decision by the United States Supreme Court yesterday. What it could mean for housing uh, is that you are also protected in that way, the same way that uh, people of color, women, people, uh, single, single parents, uh, people who uh, are living together without benefit of marriage, that's also protected because familial status is a protected, protected class. Um, divorced people, uh, handicapped people uh, have been, have been brought into a federally protected class and, um, women in particular, because gender was put into the 1964 civil rights amendment. Um, so now LGBTQ people are put into that class, one of those classes. Uh, so it's religion, people of different religions. So you can't exclude anybody based on their religion, race, color, national origin, creed. Um, and you'd have to look, I'd have to look at the exact, there were nine before now, there are 10 protected classes. Um, and that's huge because if you were say you say you were living and, and I hate to say this, but Pennsylvania was one of the states that did not fully protect throughout the state. Philadelphia fully, fully protected LGBTQ citizens, 100 percent. But go to the middle of the state and that may not be the case. Go to Allegheny County, might not be the case. Um, not a hundred percent, but now a hundred percent, they are protected 
in their workplace. We have to see where this leads as far as housing goes, but I'm pretty sure it's going to. It may take another one or two lower court decisions to back it up, but I'm pretty sure it's going to. It's going to protect uh, gay citizens in, in the housing. They were not protected, in particular in rentals. Um, that's where, that's where owners really have a lot of control over who they rent to. Um, but not, not in, um, not under the 1964 Civil Rights Amendment. You cannot refuse to rent to people of color. You cannot refuse to rent to a woman. You cannot refuse to rent to a single parent. You can't. It's illegal. If you put your apartment or home up for rent, you must rent to these people in protected classes. It's just illegal not to do it. So now, one of those illegalities will be you cannot refuse to rent to gay people. Just can't do it. And that's going to be, um, I'm sure, tested in, in very short order in days to come. So that's where I'm talking about housing and this landmark decision by the Supreme Court. They are connected. I don't care what anybody says. They are connected. Don't let, it, don't let anybody tell you that they are not. Don't let anybody tell you, oh, it was always that way. It was not always that way. And, and I'm telling you right now, if you went down to Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Arkansas, Oklahoma, and you were a lesbian, you were a gay man, you were a homosexual couple, you were going to get some trouble when you went to rent an apartment or you went to buy a house in a certain neighborhood. And now you have some backing by the United States Supreme Court to say, no, you can't refuse this to me. So that's where we are. We are back in 1964 when people of color were saying, no, you can't ref refuse to rent this to me. You can't refuse to sell me this home. That's where we are with our gay citizens. And I think it's a wonderful thing. And I think it's about time. So don't let anybody tell you that it was always the, that this was always the case. Maybe, maybe it should have been, and maybe most of us interpreted it that way. But in fact, and in law, and in practice, in many, many parts of this country, it was not. So, they're um, they are putting into place what should have been in place long ago, and. Uh, we are going to see a lot more on this. There's going to be a lot more news. There's going to be a lot more what they call test cases. Having been the wife of, of an attorney who took the test case up to the United States Supreme Court, I know what it is. Um, there are going to be test cases. They're going to be the ones that they, they decide this is the good one. This is the one that has a chance of winning and they're going to... They're going to take it and they're going to run with it. And it's going to be the one that they take through the court systems, through the appeals process. So there's going to be more test cases and um, they're going to see what they can do. Um, I think that we're in a new era. And I think that this court, and it's very interesting that they have a two justice majority so there's a question there. Gorsuch may have been begrudgingly voting on the majority opinion, but um, I, I, again, he may not. He may have gay family members, and he may think that this is the right thing to do, and I think that he does. I think that he thinks that this constitution of ours needs to protect everybody. And um, he voted in the majority, and... Wrote a fine opinion, a fine opinion, 
uh, that's going to hold up. This opinion is going to hold up for a long time. It's not going to be overturned. Um, so that it's a solid opinion. It's not one that's it's not one that's a one one justice opinion. It's a two justice opinion. And Gorsuch is young. He's young, and Trump appointed him because he was young. So he's going to be on the court for a long, long time. And his decisions are going to stand for a long, long time. Which was frightening to those of us who weren't fans of Gorsuch. But I did say when he was appointed that you just never know what a justice is going to decide in, in reality. When they really get that power, they take it extremely seriously and they really make these decisions with great, great thought and consideration. They don't just make them off the cuff. So they do make decisions much differently than you might think. Um, you, you can't predict them. You really can't predict them just by looking at their past history or what they did in the lower court. And lower court is not at all the United States Supreme Court, and they're going to take that very differently and much more considered than they did the lower court. Um, so this is significant. It's a landmark. It's going to change how. If you were to move from, say, New York to, like I said, Kansas, you might be shocked at how you treat it if you're a gay citizen. Um, but now you have the wall to back you up as part of your job. And I would say even housing. So I think it's a good thing. And I think that it's great that you, and the other thing that this is going to probably go to also, also, because 1964 Civil Rights Amendment, I believe, may address this. I'm not sure on this is marriage throughout the throughout the state. No, Larry? No, no. They don't have to recognize the, the marriage? They do, but based on that last decision. Oh, they do have to recognize marriage. Yeah, that was a different based on the act. Uh, 19, no? Based on the Constitution itself. Oh, on the Constitution. But that was a different decision. That was the decision that came down a couple years ago. Oh, okay. So that the gay marriage should go. But it's recognized across the country. Okay. So the, the marriage is recognized across the country. That was a different decision. Now we have your jobs are protected. Housing is protected. Um, next up is going to be the adoption thing. Um, which I don't see any reason why that even is an issue. Anybody who wants to adopt a baby should be able to adopt a baby. I just... Too many kids that need to be adopted that do not have. I, w I worked in a foster care and adoption agency, and I know that there are kids out there who need good, loving, caring parents to take care of them because too many parents and more and more, it seems as time goes on, more and more parents have drug addiction problems. Um mental health problems and just can't take care of these kids and we need good loving homes for these kids to go to so that's going to be the next thing up but um right now things are good things are good this was a good decision what are you saying oh that's okay Yeah, that was the thing I was saying about the out of state, going from state to state with a gay marriage. They could recognize it in one state and not another, but now right. they did away with that. Okay. And was this court with Gorsuch on it? No, he wasn't on. I don't think he was on this group. Oh, okay. Just wondering. So that's it for tonight. Um, I'm going to put my link up uh, as for... So you can see exactly which states had full protection, which had no protections, and which had kind of a combination of both. Um, 
and now it's everybody. So that's a good thing. He was not on the court then. No? Okay. Kennedy was, though. And Kennedy always voted pro L. What are LGBTQ. All the, all the letters. <laughs> Sorry, we can never get the letters right. I, you know, we need like a Sesame Street song or something for Larry because he can't get the letters right. Um, so that's it for tonight. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good night.